what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video today i'm doing another tips and tricks video um sort of like the first one i made a while back it got a bunch of likes and you guys wanted a part two so make sure you guys watch this full video because near the end i'm going to expose a huge tip it's something high level players competitive players have been keeping a secret for too long now it's about time i show the rest of the ufc 4 community because if they can do it then you can do it Right guys, we're gonna start off nice and simple for our first tip. Obviously the tips will get better as we go along the video, but basically what you've got to do here is leg kick your opponent as much as you can. And as you can see here from the top, uh, you build GA every single time you leg kick your opponent. But it's not a lot, but that small amount makes a huge difference when it comes to defending takedowns and shooting takedowns yourself. Um, I recommend using this against wrestlers like Khabib uh, kick him a few times, build that bit of GA, and then you'll have much more success defending takedowns. All right, guys, this next tip will allow you to deny most transitions in side control just by watching your wrestling HUD. All right, guys, to do this, you need to hold L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox. Focus on that side saddle option, and if it disappears, you've got to deny up. Just like that. All right, I'll show you again. You're watching side saddle and watch it disappear just like that. That means deny up. All right, if it doesn't disappear, that means deny left like you just saw there. I'll show you again. You're watching side saddle and it stays there. That means you deny left. One downfall to this tip is if they go sprawl, if they go right, the side saddle option stays there, which can confuse you, which is why I only recommend you do this is if you're bad at denying transitions in the side control position. If you're good at denying transitions here, then don't bother using this tip. All right, for tip three, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to use a tricky takedown, which you can use on your opponents to catch them off guard. It's tricky because the animation glitches and you end up grabbing a different leg, which will confuse your opponent. So to do this, you can't be in the same stance. You can't both be in southpaw. So you've got to quickly switch to orthodox right, like I will do now, you throw a jab and then shoot a single leg, and as you can see here, it glitches and it grabs the other leg, but you need to remember to turn the takedown the opposite way you usually would. Look, I'll show you guys again, so when you're on the left side and you're on orthodox and you shoot a single leg with DP, you're supposed to turn it down, but because the animation glitches and you grab their other leg, you need to remember to turn the takedown upwards. Uh, this will catch your opponent completely off guard, and you'll get your takedown most of the time, unless your opponent knows the trick or they just get lucky. All right, guys, for this next tip, I'm going to show you how to avoid having your back against the fence when your opponent goes for sprawl in the half guard positions, which they do now. As you can see here, I rotate out and my back is not against the fence. So if they go for the get up, it'll be the slow one instead of the crazy fast one, which you can't deny. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the same clip again in slow-mo just so I can explain it. So first of all, if they go sprawl, you, you need to deny up just in case it's a full guard transition and then instantly move your stick to the left, just like I did there towards side control. That way, you'll rotate out and if they go for a get up, it won't be the crazy fast one against the cage. It'll be the slow one, which you can deny easily. All right, guys. The final tip for last, this tip will definitely be the best one you'll take from this video, so definitely learn it. Um, the only reason I'm showing you guys this tip is because people started to use it in the comp scene. Um, I don't want to say any names, but actually fuck it, Zayaf is one of them, he uses it in the competitive scene. Um, I know players who use it in prime time, the ESFL and ECA. So my logic is, is if they can use it, then surely anyone can use it. Um, I'm hoping that this video can reach out to EA. Hopefully they can patch it now or at least for the next game because this is broken. All right, guys, to do this, you just need to hold L1 or LB and spam your kick button. That is all you've got to do. It's simple as that. That way, you will only up kick when your opponent dives on you. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you drop a like if you found this video useful. Uh, drop a comment if you want a tutorial and anything you, you know you struggle to do. I'll be happy to do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.